Hi and welcome to Shady Designs. In this video, we're going to discuss how to choose the perfect shape for a custom lampshade. So this is when you are trying to choose a custom lampshade for your existing table lamp, how do you go ahead and choose the perfect shape for it? Well, let's go to step one. What's your preference? When people come up to me in the shop and ask me to help them with the table lamp and choose a shape, the first thing I ask them is, what shape did you imagine the lampshade to be? So did you have an idea of the lampshade being quite a modern look, or did you want it to be a little bit more traditional? And when choosing a shape, we can go in each of those directions by simply choosing a shape in any of the popular sizes, which brings us to step two. If you've decided that you wanted to go for a modern look rather than a traditional, then the most modern shape would be the drum. Our traditional example is the empire. And then there's something interesting and in between. It's called the tapered drum. So let's start with the drum. The drum is the most modern look because it's very, very simple. It's the same width at the bottom as it is at the top. It's straight, it's perpendicular, and it allows the fabric to do most of the talking. It's very simple in shape. The Empire, though, is a conical shape lampshade, so it curves up very sharp, and it's got that more older style look, something um, that you hark back, it, and when you imagine a uh, traditional lampshade, you always think of a cone shape on a table lamp. The tapered drum is interesting because it sort of sits in between. It does slightly come down, but it has that modern twist, but it's not overly or overtly old school. So uh, the tapered drum more recently have become very, very popular as an option. Which brings us to step three, the size. There's an old rule, which is whatever the height of the lamp base should be the width of the lampshade. So that's a good starting point. It doesn't have to work for all examples of lampshades, but it just gives you an idea of scale. So it means that you're not going to go too big or too small. Some examples of drum lampshades, some popular sized drum lampshades are 30 centimeters wide, 35 centimeters for something that's about a medium sized table lamp, and 40 centimeters if it's a larger table lamp. You can do the same idea with an empire. So starting off with the bottom of the lampshade, which is always wider than the top, you can either have it in 30, 35, or 40 centimetres across. And then the tapers also work in the same fashion as well. However, with tapers, you can either have a short lampshade or a taller lampshade. So you've figured out the shape and the size. Step four is the most important part. It's the fabric. This is what brings your lamp to life, the texture, the colour, the pattern of the fabric. So the size and shape doesn't really matter too much. It's the fabric that is the real hero of the lamp. The only time a lampshade will ever look silly is if you've chosen something that's too tiny or way too big. The fabric, it allows you to either complement the lamp base that you've got, or you can complement or match the rest of the room. So if you've got some red pillows on the couch, then maybe you want to have a red lampshade. Or if there is some red in the lamp base, then you may choose to match that red in the shade as well. So there are two ideas of playing with fabric. We've got plenty of videos on how to choose the perfect fabric for your lampshade on our website. So have fun, choose a drum, an empire or a taper that will best suit your room or your lamp base. Then select a fabric that you feel reflects your personality. You can click the link below to view our most popular examples of drum empires and tapers for your table lamp. For more info and decorating ideas, jump onto shadydesigns.com.au.